everybody, it's Jill with Crick Flex, and I have not done a video in a few weeks. Um, numerous people have been contacting me to ask me if everything was okay because um, they hadn't seen any videos of mine for a while, and typically I do three or four weeks. Um, I'm going to give this is the first opportunity. Well, shouldn't say the first time. I'm going to see if I can get through this. Uh, I'm not making any promises here, but I'm going to try. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to do that, be able to do this, but I'm going to ask everybody there that believes in prayer to please be praying um, for my six year old granddaughter, Kendall, who I'm sure numerous people here have seen in. Um, videos that I've done in the past, uh, my, my candle hour. Um, she's with me a lot of the times when I'm doing videos. Um, she was sick over the holidays, in and out of the doctor's office, running a fever, and um, couldn't figure out what it was. There was a lump of her eye from uh, bumping heads with the child at school, and the bump wasn't going away. So my daughter and, and son-in-law were taking her to numerous doctors to try and figure out why the lump wasn't going away and why she kept having a reoccurring um, fever and she was in the emergency room on Christmas Day and they said it was just a virus that wouldn't go away and I'll get to the end now uh, we did the test after test eye doctors trying to see if the lump behind her eye there was something there they finally ended up doing an MRI and found a growth and uh, performed a biopsy on it and found that she has acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Um, very big word for a six-year-old child. Um, they did surgery the day, the day after the biopsy and um, did the bone marrow uh, extraction and the spinal tap and in, um, she had a port implant in her chest for her chemotherapy. Um, she's doing, I want to say, she's doing well. I mean, she's doing remarkably well. However, uh, they did catch it early. It hadn't gone to the blood. 57% um, in her bone marrow. Um, normally, you do not get tumors with, with um, leukemia. However, in this particular case, they feel like the bump with the child uh, in the head. She did get the tumor behind the eye. We believe it was God's way of letting us know that she was ill because they could, when they did the blood work, they didn't detect it. And anyway, long, uh, well, she's got a long haul ahead of her. She'll have two to three years of treatment. Um, her prognosis is, is a, for full recovery. Um, they do believe she's doing she's doing well however she's currently on five different types of chemo and steroids and uh, just a plethora of medications and it is a very 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 um, hard to see a six-year-old child go through that and I always would would watch these telethons and, and things with sick children and you don't know how hard it is until it, it hits you but anyway, I'm asking everybody that watches my YouTube channel to please be remembering Kendall and her mommy and daddy and, of course, all of us in your prayers. Um, again, the prognosis is she, she should be cured. Uh, it's one of those situations that we'll know more every week that goes by, but it is a long process. Even they expect... Uh, by day 29 for her to be in remission. However, she has to continue the chemo for two to three years. I was so I'm everybody saw me or has seen my videos where I'm talking about Disney that we we're all leaving on February 14th. Uh, goes without saying that is been postponed, and we are all planning on going in probably November as a celebration. Um, because I'm not saying if, I'm saying when she's cured, because I'm not, there is no if, she will be cured. Um, and again, I just, 
I wanted everybody to know why I was gone and more than anything is I wanted to get prayer chains going everywhere praying not only for Kendall but all the children that are afflicted with these horrible horrible diseases and and you know we're blessed to have Kendall and that God found us fit to be her family um, and it is very difficult God didn't make her sick but God's are healing her um, it's hard to go through because you want to find blame. It's just, you know, no child is made sick. These things happen, and, and you just have to pray for their healing. But that is why I've been gone. I'm back at work. I need to keep myself busy. Kendall's going back to school tomorrow for the first time. They've made all the arrangements with her. Uh, she has an assigned uh, social worker that will be at the school to watch her and make sure she doesn't get a fever. and. There's a whole, all sorts of, uh, of measures that they take to help out. She's with, um, she's being treated. She had her surgery and everything done at the UW of Madison um, Children's Hospital, and it's one of the best in the nation. So she's she's got the best of care, but it's still it's it's very very hard. And again, I'm just asking for everybody's prayers, and I wanted everybody to know that I haven't fallen off the face of the earth for a while. There, I thought I did, but. We're back, and we're we're strong, and we're faith. We 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 all have all the faith in the world that she's going to be fine. So we are trying to normalize our life as much as we can for us and for Kendall. Um, we all went out to dinner tonight. Kendall had called and said, "Hey, everybody, let's go to Red Robin." And when I, you know, when I, whenever I see her, it's just hard to believe that. She was as sick as she was. I can already see the changes. The tumor of her eye is gone um, already in about, oh, she has chemo every day, but the, the tumor's completely gone. And so I know that the chemo is working. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a project that I'm working on. Now that I've spread that cheerful news, again, I don't want this to be a I want everybody to rejoice in her recovery, not everything's going to be good and she is going to be a walking testimonial of God's healing. So what I'm working on is for a baby shower and it is the Monsters Inc. Um, theme. Um, what I did is I made the baby mic. Um, this is from a clip art that I got on Etsy. These are a foot tall. These balloons um, I have here are from the Cricut cartridge, the birthday bash. However, I did the screen print and used my, um, my, oh my word, my cameo to do the coloring. And all the colors that I picked here are from a digital paper pack that I purchased on Etsy of Monster Ink colors. And so I used all the teals and the purples on these, and they all are holding balloons. I did um, the one, or little Mike Wazowski. There's three of those. I'll take some pictures here when I get them all, all done showing you. I'm not putting them together. They're all put together. I'm just showing you what I did. And then the other one is of uh, Mike. Now what I did on Mike is this comes from the same set on Etsy, um, but he had a green sweatshirt on, and I've done him before on a different uh, for a different party. But what I did is I cut the green shirt out using my razor blade or uh, my blade on on my cameo, and then I have another clip art of these monkeys. And this little monkey has a pacifier in his mouth, and is that a monkey? Yeah, that's a monkey. <laughs> anyway, I put this little monkey, and then I did the yellow white. Um, yellow and white polka dot shirt and the same set of balloons. There's also three of these. And then I did the big one that is for, this was on the food table and it's got the box that collapses, the mini popcorn. I put a little pacifier on it. I don't know if you can see that. The polka dot shirt I put on them again. Uh, on this one I have the bear. I did a bear with a baby bottle and a little duck on his shirt. And again, this is going to be going on the food table. So there's a box on each side for her to put her popcorn or chips or whatever she wants in there. Okay? And then 
let me see what else I got going here. I did a bingo card. And on the bingo card, um, all I did was a Google search and got the grid for the bingo. And then I just took my colors and designed it with my digital prints. Again, this was digital uh, Monsters, Inc. paper pack that I had here. And I put a green stripe down here and a pur purple stripe through here. And there's a little bit of blue in the back and then my little flag. I just threw all that on the card. And then for the free spot, I put Randall, baby Randall on there. Stephanie's baby shower bingo. Stephanie's baby shower bingo. Um, and then the last thing is, am I missing anything else here? No. I have the eight and a half by 11 book and I used all the colors um, inside the, the chipboard book that are the, the green and purples concentrating on the colors of Mike and Sully. And um, this has an uh, 8.5 by 11 sheet of purple paper that I put on first. And then this piece I designed on my silhouette with the blue stripe down here. Then it's got about an inch and three quarter of a purple stripe and then another blue stripe. And then this piece is five inches wide. But I put them all together and cut them as one. Then I took this... Um, border from Recollections. But they had all these on sale at Michael's and it's a glitter border. These are the rope borders and I put one down here and one down here and this is for the BB's photo album. Then I have another clip art that I did that's called Here We Grow clip art and it's all sorts of things. Um, oh baby sayings like first month, second month, um, first tooth. I mean, it, it's it's the whole entire set. It's I, I love it. It's awesome. I'm going to put that here at the top of the book. And you know what? I think I am going to pop dot that. I've already put the book together. I used my crocodile, my crocodile punch to punch my holes. Um, and then I buy the little binder rings to use the three ring binder. I do have the bind it all that's more like the spiral and I've said this in past videos. It's really nice however um, you can't make your books very thick with it. Uh, well you can get the heavier rings. I'm, I'm just not all that impressed with them. I think they're kind of um, not made very well. They're kind of flimsy so I'm not super duper crazy about them but I'm gonna pop dot some of these things on here and I've missed my video um, taping too. I try to keep myself busy so my mind um, my mind stays occupied and doesn't get get away from me thinking my daughter's divorce will be final not till March 4th but it has gotten extremely extremely ugly um, and I'm hoping for that to get better for you. So I've had an awful lot on my plate these last few months. And I just think, you know, I need a break. I need a break from from um, just things going on. I just, you know, I am so incredibly thankful that my, my kids are the way that they are. Because if it wasn't for how close they are, I don't know how any of us would get through the hand we've been dealt lately. But um, my daughter, soon to be ex, um, they've got some just ugly issues going on there. My daughter, all she wants is her kids. Anybody who's friends with me on Facebook sees I post pictures pretty much every day of my, my grandchildren. They are the light of our lives, of all of ours. My husband, myself, my, you know, all of us. We're very, 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 very close. And um, a lot of people have made comments that, that they love hearing the stories and People have seen my videos with Kendall, and they've seen Charlie and Wyatt, and and my younger daughter's the one that's going through the divorce, and um, she just wants her kids, you know, and it's really really sad because she's just a super 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 great mom, and firm believer in marriage, but unfortunately, he not so much. Um, but 
I've turned him over to God. He's out of my hands. Um, let him work. And I just want Amy, my daughter, to have her kids. She's a wonderful mother. That's why she does daycare um, and works from home. Uh, he feels, her ex feels she needs to go out and do something else uh, because she has her, her bachelor's degree and her real estate license and whatnot, which she has every intention of doing. But her children are one in three, and she wants to take care of them until they're school age, which I did. I did not go and work outside the house until my kids were all grown, or in school at least, full time. I didn't have any of mine in daycare, and, and that's pretty much the same thing that my children are like that. They take, that's why I take care of my, the children of my older daughter. I take care of them. That was one of the reasons I retired from my job is because my younger daughter used to take care of them, but when she had baby two, my other daughter was having baby three, it got to be too much. So that was one of the reasons I said, I'm going to retire and take care of my grandchildren. And so that's what I do. And it was the best thing I did, especially now with everything going on. I am so thankful, so incredibly thankful that I'm not having to deal with work. And other than this, which I've been kind of slacking off, but, you know, understandably so. I'm going to wrap some thread around here just to do something different and to add a little green up here in this purple. And there we go. There we go. So I'm sorry I couldn't tell you something cheery and fun. Uh, tonight, but I will have cheery and fun coming back uh, when we went out to eat. Well, I actually do have something pretty funny because when we got out to the restaurant, Kendall was hot, um, and we were out with the other set of grandparents eating, and she was hot, and one of the chemos that she's on makes her very, very, very hot. Instead of the winter here, it's like the frozen tundra, and she was hot, so she decided to lay down on the bench, or on the seat at Red Robin and have ice <laughs> poured on her because she was so hot. Um, her other grandmother had taken her outside because her other grandmother, talk about unfortunate, I'm going to tell you, this is going to get bleaker as the moment. She also has cancer. So the two of them are both battling um, uh, cancer, however, um, two different kinds of cancer and but both of them one started chemo three weeks ago and my granddaughter's chemo started um, a week ago last Saturday but they're kind of going through the same thing with uh, being hot and and hair falling out and things like that and so they went outside side to cool off well, when Kendall came back in she was barefoot and I'm telling you we're in the dead of the winter here and she's laying down on the bench all of a sudden she's got her feet up on the table or up on top of something and she's barefoot. And then she decided she found a hangnail on her toe. And Kendall, not thinking anything of it, because remember she's six years old, is thinking there while she's sitting she might as well take care of that hangnail. Um, it was pretty funny when we see her and we're trying to tell her you can't do that when you're sitting at the table, a dining room table in a restaurant. Well, you know, six year olds just, she figured why not? She needed to have it done, and we were trying to convince her that she needed to wait till she got home. And she wasn't going to be convinced to wait till she got home. And the doctor had said, pick your battles when she gets upset, because one of the medications makes her extremely, extre extremely moody. So we were waiting for her to um, react when we were in the restaurant, but she didn't. We, she, she held it together, but I don't know how far they got in, into the on the way home how far they got before she decided to attack that nail again but she's herself she's herself for the most part one strong little girl I'll tell you that but I know there's a bunch of you who have seen her videos and somebody had emailed or emailed me on Facebook and said is it the one that's singing on let it go because she's in the video when I was doing a Frozen video and she was in the background singing Let It Go and her arms were flying everywhere 
you've seen that video, yes, that is the one. Well, she's the only one I do videos with because the others are too small. But she wanted to come over and craft the other day. And when she did, I was going to do a film with her. But I think I'll give it a little bit more time. I don't know if I'm ready to do that yet. But we'll get there. We'll get there and life will go back to normal. And, and everything will be good. Everything will be good. There we go. I've got the book down here. I put a little baker's twine wrapped around here um, from the inside and then I've added three buttons to kind of hold that in place. I pop dotted, pop dotted, pop dotted, pop dotted Mike and then we've got Sully here with this little bear here and I use some of the Accent Essentials by Ranger, these glossy accents. I use that on the eyes, eyes here, teeth, some of the bear here. And I think that that is pretty much it. I'll take some pictures and call it a night. And depending on how I feel tomorrow, oh, I forgot, I wanted to put this on here too. I did a pacifier here. I think I'll put that right here with some pop dots. Um, and depending on how it goes tomorrow, um, I'm working on a baby book, first 12 months, that I'm actually doing for my great, uh, my niece who's having her first child in March and her showers this weekend and I'm going to try and do a book for her if I can get if I can get it done I'm not making any promises but um, depending on how I'm holding out if I can I'm going to film it and do that and I'm not going to talk well I will give updates. We have a website built for Kendall so that anybody, um, my Facebook friends and stuff, when they ask me, I can give them the address um, that that will have updates um, of how she's doing. I'm not going to put it on here because I'm not going to send that out to everybody. Uh, I'm not going to just plaster it out. But those, again, there's a lot of you that are friends with me on Facebook if you want that website. I will give it to you. Just send me a message. Send it to me privately if anybody does um, Facebook me because I'm not, this is not on Facebook. And so if you want to know anything, send me a private message. Um, okay, I'm done for tonight. Thank you and everybody have a wonderful night and don't forget to please pray for Kendall. Bye-bye.